And today, fans also got the chance to welcome back the 1961 Packers team. How about that? 18 players from that championship team returned to Titletown to celebrate the 50th anniversary of their 1961 title. The Packers' annual alumni weekend gave fans a double dose of championship players. While Super Bowl 45 MVP Aaron Rodgers and company excited fans during the four quarters, it was halftime when the 1961 Packers champions took to the field to be recognized. Moving a little slower than in their heyday, the excitement of it all made them feel like they could suit up again. In 50 years, it seems like in the blink of an eye, you know, it's just been so quick. Hard to believe it's been that long. It's, uh, it's been a wonderful ride. We're just very proud to be Packers. Hall of Famer Paul Horning can't believe they're here to celebrate once again with fans. Five decades, he agrees, seems like just yesterday when he was tearing up the field and scoring touchdowns. The Packers alumni weekend brings former players back for a chance to remember the old days and reconnect with teammates and fans. Well, they've always been my heroes uh, from Ray Nishke all the way through. Bart Starr, that's why I'm wearing Bart today, so a lot of respect for Bart. The players continue to be amazed at all the changes to football in 50 years, the growth of the game, and the size of the stadium. One thing that hasn't changed, though, is the community loyalty to everything green and gold. It was great to see all the guys, and it's wonderful to see the fans. They haven't forgotten, and uh, it makes us feel young again. Paul Horning tells us the one thing that he does miss after 50 years are the great friends and football players from that 61 team that are no longer with us.